My fiancé dumped me before our wedding. Was it my fault? I am 24F living in a relatively conservative country and was engaged to my fiancé, 29M, from a secular European country. We have been together for over two years. After having a long-distance relationship for two years where he visited me multiple times and I went to his country to stay with him every three months for a year, we realized we no longer want to have to live separately. Him working full-time and not having the budget and the time to visit me as often, me struggling with visa issues and not being able to settle down in my own country to keep our relationship going made us decide we want to put an end to this and get married. We planned to introduce our families to each other during our engagement party, and as everyone would already be gathered together, we could make the civil wedding ceremony in the same week as well. This would allow me to start living with him constantly. After moving in with him, we would both work and save up for our dream wedding. In my culture, we celebrate engagement like a small wedding party. Friends and family join for celebration, and you exchange rings as a sign of commitment. My family helped me to arrange everything including catering, decoration, accommodation of guests, and covered all costs. Only thing he had to do was to bring his family, parents, and siblings. I didn't ask him for any money or contribution for planning except the general framework because he was already busy with his work. Even this was a big deal for him, and he kept bragging about how much of a sacrifice he made by convincing his family to come to another country, which doesn't even require a visa, for doing this. I tried to understand that they come from a small town and are not used to traveling. Maybe this was a big step for them. So, I didn't think much of it. As I completed all arrangements and all of us were waiting for them to arrive, he told me that his friends and family is furious about the news of our civil wedding ceremony. He said, for his culture people date for at least five years to even consider getting engaged, so we are moving way too fast for his family to catch up. If I am too upset, we can cancel everything. Just like this, all of my efforts on planning our civil wedding, our plans of moving together soon went down the hill. I had to accept their point too because our engagement was already in the way me and my family wanted it to be. So they all came. We had the most beautiful engagement ceremony. His family was full of joy, and they couldn't stop their happy tears. After a few months, discussing for days and coming to an agreement, we planned to finally do our civil wedding. It would be in a small circle because his family wouldn't be able to attend. Tickets were expensive. They didn't want to use their vacation days from work, etc. We talked to them about it and said that we will make it up to them when our real wedding day comes. We arranged all the necessary documents. I got my wedding dress ready, hired a photographer. My family flew to the destination of our civil wedding. Everyone was ready and waiting for him to arrive. The morning of his arrival, he called me and said that his mother didn't imagine our wedding like this. Now she is in tears and he can't leave his mother behind like this. I said, okay, and I hung up. I blocked him everywhere, but a part of me still expected him to come. He never arrived. Later, through common friends, he reached out to me and said that he felt pressured all along and at the last day, his family and friends made him see his stupid mistake. He wished that we would take more time with all this. I didn't contact him back and I am trying to move on with my life. Ada for blocking him away from my life like this? Or was it understandable that he left me like this at the last minute because of his family's opinion?